For this presentation, we will be adding some cables to the 555 PBX. This is a Western Electric self-contained PBX. To make this switchboard portable and movable to a different location, we're terminating all of the jacks and trunks to a 110 block. On the bottom of the 110 block would be 50 pairs that would be then connected to a cable going to the MDF so that the stations or trunks can be uh, connected to other systems. We were able to take the original soldered cable and place male amphenols on the end of the cable so that we could connectorize this. This saved several hours from removing the old wires and soldering on new wires. And since soldering is not something I enjoy doing, I always take the path of least resistance. 150 pairs of cable. This is the 110 block that's turned over and I've taken six 25 pair cables or the equivalent of that and then one 50 pair that will be going to the main distribution frame. Uh, we're going to refer to this as a microscopic IDF. Doing it this way allows us to select any jacks out of 120 and concentrate them down to either one 25 pair cable or 50 pair depending on the need. Otherwise, all of the cables from the switchboard would generally be cabled directly to the IDF. But since this is a small home project, it's unnecessary to do that. We've temporarily mounted the block on a piece of plywood to make it more stable. Generally, it's better to mount this on a wall, but in this case, we don't have a wall that we can put screws into. So we'll be doing it on a countertop. I've fanned out 50 pairs onto the 110 block. Normally you would punch the five pair modules on and then do the next cable. In this particular situation, it was easier to not do that and then put 10 modules on in this case. We have some of the cables fanned out. We have not yet put the five pair modules on top. We'll be doing that momentarily. With this laying on a counter, it's easier to actually fan out the wires before putting the modules on. Otherwise, you can create your own heartache by having stuff in your way. There are still several pairs to be terminated or several cables, probably at least 100. This is a 300 pair block, which would be a very mini IDF inside of the switchboard. We have the 150 pairs all connected on the block. The five pair modules have been installed on top of the cable. This is a 300 pair block. So at the bottom we have 50 pairs that will go to the mainframe, which will be in another part of the building. We've run a handful of cross connects on this block just for illustration, of course, they will be left here. So the white and the red wire over on the right side is for power. The white and the blue cross connects down here at the bottom are connected up to the trunks. And then the yellow and blue, which is your typical bell system cross connect for one pair of circuits, are connected to some of what would be the jacks. So the jacks will be randomly connected. And then down here towards the bottom on the tie cable, which is right here, this is one of the tie cables, one to 25 and then 26 through 50. Then those will go to the mainframe and connect to phones or a single or a key system and other things. When we have more accomplished on the 555 and have it reassembled, I'll make an additional video showing the operation of it. This will be sometime in the future, so it will be classified as probably part two. So the initial video will not be called part one. I will only do that once I have a second video made.